This tutorial demonstrates how to rotate the volume and the corresponding images in CubeView version 2809. Some of these features may also be available in earlier versions of CubeView. All versions of CubeView will allow you to rotate the 3D volume rendering and the corresponding NPR images if you check the Synchronize 3D NPR Rotation checkbox. Then when you grab the 3D rendering and rotate it in any direction, the NPR images, axial, sagittal, and coronal, will update automatically. You can always return to your original orientation by pressing the AP View Direction button on the left-hand pane. If you have not checked the Synchronize 3D NPR Rotation checkbox and you've been rotating the volume and you would like to immediately update the NPR views, just click on the box where it says Synchronize 3D NPR Rotation and all of the views will update automatically. You can also reset the NPR views only by clicking on Reset NPR Rotation. If you are rotating the 3D volume and you would like to restrict your rotation to just one plane, once you reset, just press on the X, Y, or Z keys at the same time you're rotating and your motion will be restricted to just one plane. For example, pressing the X key will only allow you to move the toes on the foot up or down. Pressing on the Y key will only allow you a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation as facing from your observation point. And pressing the Z button will only allow you to rotate in a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation if you are looking from the top down. A new tool has been added to CubeView version 2809 and that is the ability to rotate your NPR views without having to synchronize with the 3D volume. First thing that you want to do is grab your cursor lines, red, green, or blue, and bring them to the point in the anatomy where you would like to rotate about to make your adjustments. Then go to XYZ Rotate up in the toolbar. When you click on it, notice now your mouse has changed shape. Looks like we now have the ability to rotate. I'm going to left click and hold the mouse down and these yellow guidelines appear. Notice how I rotate them. They are centered where the cursor lines cross. When I let go, look carefully at all the views. They now update. They change their orientation. Let's look at that again. Left click and drag. Use the yellow lines to line up with the relative parts of the anatomy. And again, the view updates. There are two other options available as well for rotating in the NPR views without involving the 3D volume. One of them is to press and hold the shift key at the same time that you drag with your left mouse click. Notice now that the, in this case, the axial view, it updates real time. When you let go, all of the other views will catch up. Again, press and hold the shift key, left click and drag at the same time. When you let go, all of the views catch up. Also, if you press and hold the control and shift key at the same time, all of your views will rotate simultaneously. Again, control and shift key. All of your views rotate live and simultaneously. And finally, one other feature we're going to discuss in this tutorial is the ability to measure the amount which, which we have rotated our data sets with respect to the original plane of orientation. So if I press and hold the shift key while I rotate this axial view, if you look in the lower right hand corner, you're going to see x equals 0, y equals 0, but the z value is constantly changing. That is the angle of rotation that we are now acquiring with respect to the original orientation from which the patient was scanned. If I want to tilt up, for example, the toes here, approximately 20 degrees, I'm going to press the shift button. I'm going to lift up the toes. I see the y value changes to 20 degrees. We now have a 20 degree upward tilt. Again, check the y value, lower right hand corner as I click, y equals 20 degrees. As we rotate the 3D volume, you can also see that the x, y, and z values rotate and adjust accordingly as the volume is rotated. If you would like to get the latest version of CubeView software installed, in this case it's version 2809, be sure to call Curve Beam Tech Support at 267 483 
8097. Again, to schedule an appointment to update your CubeView software, call Curvebeam Tech Support at 267-483-8097.